When it comes to player salaries in MLS, each team is afforded $3.485 million to spend. For comparison, this is over 30 times less than the NBA salary cap and over 50 times less than the NFL's. The original cap was far more restrictive than it is today. It was $1.2 million and prohibited any player from earning over $192,500. This was drastically revamped in 2007 with the arrival of designated players. Commonly referred to as the Beckham Rule, it allowed MLS teams to sign star players at a cost far exceeding the total cap. For example, when David Beckham joined the LA Galaxy in 2007, he collected a $6.5 million a year contract, more than three times that of the cap. With the new ruling, Beckham's salary on paper cost LA Galaxy and MLS just $400,000 a season, and the team's owners, AEG, paid the remaining balance of $6.1 million. Each team was afforded one DP spot, and should they wish to trade it, they could to another team, with no team allowed more than two DP spots. This changed the way teams spent money, and Beckham was soon joined in the US by the likes of Freddy Lundberg, Juan Pablo Angel, and Cuauhtémoc Blanco. However, the system was not perfect. The financial disparity between teammates often caused dressing room issues, with Beckham earning more in a month than some colleagues did in a year. In 2010, further amendments were made with the DP's cost for teams lowered to $335,000. Furthermore, spots could no longer be traded, but teams could pay a luxury tax of $250,000 to unlock a third DP spot. As the league continued to grow, so did the salary cap. The 2010 rate sat at $2.55 million and grew 5% year-on-year until 2014 as part of the collective bargaining agreement between MLS and the Players' Union. In the intervening years, only minor additions were made. In a bid to encourage buying young talent, MLS charged teams just $200,000 against their salary budget for DPs between the age of 21 and 23, and $150,000 for players under 20. For those over 23, the cost against the salary cap has slowly risen. Not only did this rise impact the percentage DPs took up on the salary cap, but it also influenced how much allocation money was needed to buy down their contracts. In MLS, allocation money represents money that teams can use to sign players and or allocate to existing player salaries to lower their cost against the salary budget. For example, if player A earns above the threshold for a designated player, Team X may use their allocation money to buy that figure down and remove his designated player status. This allows them to now sign a more expensive DP. The cap is seen by advocates as a vital way to give the league financial security, as it prevents overspending. The North American Soccer League, which operates without a cap, has been subject to financial instability in the past. However, critics of the salary cap believe it to be restrictive and is part of the reason that MLS clubs have yet to win the modern CONCACAF Champions League, with their restriction-free Mexican rivals often victorious. However, growth remains steady and it seems unlikely that Commissioner Don Garber will abandon this model. Rather, he will seek to slowly expand it, even if it is unlikely to reach the dizzying heights of the NFL or the NBA anytime soon. Thanks for watching the video guys, if you'd like to see more of Kristen's work there is a link to his Twitter account in the description of the video. If you have any video ideas of your own please leave a comment with them, we always love to see them. And as usual please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, do keep watching all of the videos. Every night, I'm smoking every day.